Good evening and welcome to the Stephen Leeson Show with you live from the Scientology Community Center, Dublin. Stephen could not make it here and he will be back next week, I know that for sure. My name is Angel and I have the opportunity to present the show this evening. My guest this week is John Graham. John celebrates his 50th year in the music industry and will be celebrated along with some of his closest musical associates at a spectacular gig at the Well in Stevens Green. John is not only an accomplished solo performer, he also fronted some of Ireland's top bands, including Shush, Soul Doctors, Aja, Hot House Band, and several others. He sings every genre, including pop, jazz, swing, and soul. He works with some of Ireland's top performers at his studio in Kells, County Meath. He then opened it as a musical staycation during the lockdown, thus bringing musicians together, working and collaborating in a creative environment. I actually find this so incredible, as just last week, I was talking with Stephen on the show about how I helped during lockdown using music therapy. I then discovered this aligned perfectly with Stephen's purpose to help musicians return to live performances after such a stagnated period. And that was achieved on this very stage over the past 11 months. So we will definitely hear more about John's initiative later. Meanwhile, John is accompanied tonight by Chris Kenevy on piano, Mark Wilde on sax, who together formed the John Graham Trio, performing the music of Nat King Cole, Perry Como, Tony Bennett, Matt Monroe, and Frank Sinatra. Please welcome the John Graham Trio. <laughs> Today is just another day Tomorrow is a guess But yesterday, how I long for yesterday To relive one yesterday And its happiness When Joanna loved me Every town was Paris Every day was Sunday Every month was May When Joanna loved me Every sound was music Music made with laughter Laughter that was bright and gay But when Joanna left me May became December Even in December I remember her warmth, her smile, even just for a little while. She loves me. Once again, it's Paris. Paris on a Sunday. And the month is May
But when Joanna left me Baby came December Even in December I remember Her warmth Her smile Even just for a little while She loves me Once again it's Paris Paris on a Sunday And the month is May The fantastic Tony Bennett a song called When Joanna Loved Me. And actually, he liked that song so much that he, uh, he named his daughter Joanna after it. And that song was also sang by Frank Sinatra, who did say that Tony Bennett was the best singer in the world, and it was great to feature him here. Okay, we're going to, uh, we're going to do a Frank Sinatra song. Actually, we'll do two now, okay? Some of his uh, finest work. This is a beautiful song called In the Wee Small Hours of the Morning. Hope you like this. In the wee small hours of the morning While the whole wide world is fast asleep You lie awake and think about the girl Never ever think of counting sheep When your lonely heart has learned his lesson You'd be hers if only she would call In the wee small hours of the morning That's the time you miss her most of all When your lonely heart has learned its lesson You'd be hers if only she would call In the wee small hours of the morning That's the time you miss her most of Wasn't that beautiful? Frank Sinatra at his best, let me tell you. He, saw, he also sang this next song. It was uh, 1927. It was written in 1927 by uh, Jerome Kern for the uh, musical Showboat. And uh, this is a fantastic version. I love singing this song, in fact, because uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, some, it's a song that we all know, but we don't hear sang alive enough. I hope you enjoy this. It's a song called Old Man River. Here we all work along the Mississippi Here we all work while the white folks play Pulling them boats from the dawn till sunset Getting no rest till the judgment day Don't look up and don't look down You don't ask, make the boss man frown Bend your knees and bow your head And pull that rope until you're dead Let me go away from the Mississippi 
Let me go away from the white band balls Show me that stream called the River Jordan That's the old stream that I long to cross Old Man River That old man river he don't say nothing, but he must know something. He just keeps rolling, he keeps on rolling along. He don't plant taters, and he don't plant cotton. And them that plants them are so forgotten but old man river he just keeps rolling along you and me we sweat and strain body all aching and racked with pain tote that barge lift that veil you get a little drunk and you'll end in jail. I get weary and sick of trying. I'm tired of living. But I'm scared of dying And old man river He just keeps rolling on Long Old man river what a tune. Let's do a little report back correct this time. We'll try and get into the uh, 60s. This is probably uh, from the late 60s. Wrote some fantastic tunes. This is a beautiful song. We hope you enjoy it, okay? Thank you. You see this guy this guy is in love with you Yes, I'm in love Who looks at you the way I do When you smile I can't tell We know each other Very well I can I show you I'm glad I got to know you cause I've heard some talk They say you think I'm fine Yes, I'm in love And what I do to make you mine They tell me so I, I can't see we love each other Way to go my hands are shaking Don't let this heart keep breaking Cause I need your love I want your love Please tell me now That you're in love with me or else I'll die Shaking. 
to let my heart keep a breaking cause I need your love I want your love say you're in love in love with this guy if not I'll die John, bravo, bravo, John and Chris. Come on, John, welcome. Welcome to the show here this evening. Wow, come and sit with me. <laughs> We've got lots to talk about. I know you, I know you. I'm just wondering, we'll start off with this wonderful question, the one question that we always start off with. Where did it all begin? Well, um, I have to say, uh, where it began was, uh, uh, as a very, very young child, um, I seemed to, uh, have a bit of a rhythm in me, and I loved dancing in front of the uh, scorecard on the television before radio television at that time would come on. And uh, I would have been three or four, uh, and I kept dancing to it. So obviously I had a little bit of music in me, and obviously then I went to um, play accordion, as you do when you're young. Went to the College of Music to study singing under Leo Maguire, uh, piano. You know, I got into lots of, lots of bits and pieces, but, you know, dan Irish dancing, Every, anything theatrical, anything musical, I loved, and it was fantastic, and that's what I like. I, you know, as an, an entertainer, you want to entertain. I can say you were born entertainer, <laughs> born to be an entertainer. <laughs> so, you know what, I'm just thinking, what, what have been your musical um, influences? Because obviously, we change over the years. We start off maybe with ABBA, <laughs> whatever it is, yeah. and then we move on. So what have been your musical I mean, I, mean, I, I always influences. find this, this question a kind of a strange question. I mean, musical influences where, uh, you, know, you know, people who perform music, you know, you, you get your musical influences really, I think, from the time you're 10 until you're about 18. Now, you can move forward then, you see, and you get into kind of jazz and things like that. But I mean, I, I remember, I remember, you know, you'd be waiting for Top of the Pops in the 70s, in the early 70s to see, would Slade be number one next week, or would The Sweet, or would it be Mud, or lots of different things, you know? So musical influences to me, and I'm possibly one of the best one, when I, when I was about 17 or 18, I bought the album, an album, a CD done album called Asia. And I was just blown away, that was it, you know? I was gonna do something in music then. I started to write, uh, and, and, you know, got lots of things in my head, started to form little bits of bands, you know, and just took it from there. It has brought me here. And do you think you've accomplished as much as you've wanted to accomplish over the years? You know, I, you know, I, I, think, I think in Ireland, you know, it's, it's a difficult, it's not a difficult place, but it's a, it's, a, it's a hard place sometimes. You know, there are other countries where you could have maybe done an awful lot better, but I mean, I've accomplished everything that I want to do. If I go out on stage, um, Angel, and there's only one person there, and I, I and actually I remember playing to three people one night, you know, with a band. No, that with a, feels like with a band, <laughs> and you know we had the best night ever because we got them up on the stage. We had a bit of fun, and that's what it's, entertaining is about. Entertaining who's in front of you, and it's not about ten thousand people there. It's about you know you when you're on the stage. You, it's nice to come off the stage saying to yourself, I have done the best I can there, even though there wasn't many people there, but they enjoyed. And, you know, taking, thinking about that, when you think about um, 2020, so uh, we had music stopping for the first time, I think, in the history of man. I would honestly think that. So we went from performing on stages uh, with bands, yourself, big bands, to being at home, um, not knowing what to do with ourselves, practically. Uh, I think maybe the initial first week or two where we were okay with it, we were kind of thinking, wow, we're off. Yeah. And then it, we were kind of saying, where are we going next? Um, and I think you really took that to the next level during 2020 because you kept people sane online. Yeah, I mean... The lockdown you, legend, I'm Yeah, the out. lockdown legend. I was christened... Actually, Mark, who will be joining us in the second half of the show, he christened <laughs> me the so lockdown Mark. legend, so I owe it to Mark over there, you know. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I had been you know, just away on a cruise with my son um, for his 25th birthday in, in the January. And we got back then in 2020, you know, after, you know, we had a nice little cruise around the Med. And uh, suddenly, I wasn't gigging then. There was no, I think I did one gig after that. 
and, uh, and, and, and like everyone, like all musicians, we said, ah, yeah, it'll be, it'll be, uh, we'll enjoy the month off, or we'll enjoy the six weeks or whatever, and we never, didn't realise that it was going to last so long. So I started, I, I put up, some guy that challenged me or something, he said, we'd never do a song up there online and throw it on Facebook, we'll have a bit of fun, you know? And I did. And then the next day, I put another one up. And the next day, and the next day, and I actually did 100, in the first batch, I did 100 songs every day. So people were kind of, uh, I, it got to the stage really, you know, Angel, where I was afraid not to put something up because people were waiting and they were asking me to do requests and it was their birthdays. And it, it took a, on a life of its own. And it was absolutely great. And it actually, you know, thinking back now, it kept me sane because uh, I was up, I was working, you know, at, at the music, I'd have to do a different song. And my God bless her, my wife, she was trying to fill in me and doing this, that, and the other, you know, and it, it kind of kept the whole thing just working, you know, great, and it was fantastic, a privilege to be able to do it. You even kept your fellow musicians uh, happy, <laughs> gave us something to look at online. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, well, I, I, I just think, you know, and, and a lot of other people did this as well, you know what I mean, a few people, um, I mean, I was just playing, you know, last week with, with John Sheridan, he, and he, he started to put something up every day, but it, it, it did keep... It did keep us very, very occupied. It kept my voice right, well, as right as it was ever going to be, Angel. But, you know, it was, it, it, it did take up a lot of my time. And then, of course, you know, I just didn't stick to the studio. I was out in the garden, I was up trees, I was sitting in hammocks singing songs. And I was trying to think, Amazing. it kept my mind going. <laughs> but it was great. Where do you think, um, do you think music has changed for us? Do you think our business has changed? Have we changed? Yeah, I, well, I, I don't think I, I, anything is going to be ever the same again. I exactly. really don't. Um, and I think, I, I think the break, you know, was a good thing, really. Um, I think it will refocus people's minds on exactly what they want to do. I hear this from a lot of musicians that, were, you know, that had nothing to do. And they started different projects. They started maybe their own little recording studios in their houses. They approached music in a much different way. And they kind of got their priorities right. I mean... You know, it's not about the amount of gigs that you can do or this, that, and the other. And I, I think that it, musicians kind of came together and they try and tried to help one another, whereas before they sort of take gigs off one another. And I think it has, you know, formed a little community there where I don't think we're as greedy, which is a good thing. And I think uh, I think it also let the, the punters know how much they, they value musicians and they missed us. Yeah. And they love that live stuff. And I think it has brought the live stuff to the fore. I think it gave us all a chance to reevaluate even the music business, whether we wanted to stay in the music business and move on, yeah. whether we'd had enough. Yes. Um, it made us collaborate more together, as you say, be more friendly. I suppose have time maybe to, to, um, to talk to each other because we were always gigging anyway. We hadn't time to think. That's it. And do you know, and the fantastic thing about it was that I, I, I did many collaborations over the, uh, over the lockdown. And which I would never have done those, never. Mm -hmm. And and people were very very receptive, you know. When I'd ring them up or you say, "Would you fancy doing this tune with me?" And they said, "Yeah." I mean, there was that kind of you know acceptance of let's get in, let's get in together. Nothing is a problem, you know. Whereas maybe beforehand people were busy. We won't do that. I don't. That really doesn't suit me. It was great. Yeah. And it helped, I think, the industry in that way. It did have a kind of a warlike feel, if that made sense, in a kind of way, because we, yeah, so, yeah. so yeah, we, we were all so generous to each other. Yeah, we were all on the same boat, you know. We were on the same boat, not working. <laughs> 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 we couldn't be comparing gigs, that's, right. that's for sure. Yeah. So actually, this leads me on to this um, wonderful uh, initiative that you used as well, uh, your sta staycation musical experiences in your home studio. Yeah. Um, I'd like you to elaborate on that, because you, it was amazing what you, what you did there and, and created. Yeah, I, I, I was, I, like, I had the studio there, right, which I kind of used just for myself and friends and, and, and things that I wanted to do with people, who, you know, who, who I enjoyed working with. And, and I had a big, big rehearsal space as well. And I just said, God, it was the time where no one could go on holidays. And, and initially, I, I said to myself, what are young people going to do? You're 17, 18, 19. They've started a little band. They've nowhere to play. Uh, so I said, I will try, and I, I got a mobile in, you know, a, a three-bedroom mobile, so that they could come down, they could stay for a couple of nights, they could use the facilities there. I, I, I said I'd feed them, and I would look after them for their mammies, you know. And then, I, I, so, so I, I, I put it up online, got it sorted, and what happened then was, I, I 
kept get, I kept getting a lot of phone calls from guys who are my age. They wanted to use it. I thought was this, I was going to do this for the young people. And so, so the older generation wanted to come down because they were really, really bored. Guys in bands, I had songwriters down. I had young bands down as well. And it really was great. And then I said to myself, I said, maybe I should do it for the wives of the musicians. God love them. Because I listened to this moan and moan and moan. But I, then I said, I won't do that because I don't want to go there, you see. But it was fantastic. They sat in the garden. We had quite a good summer, you know, uh, last year or, the, or, or in, two, uh, in, in 2021 because I started in 2021. And, you know, people lay in the garden, they, they would, they, you know, I could take them down to the pub if they wanted to drive them down and drop them back. And then they'd, they'd play in the garden until two or three o'clock in the morning. And it was, mm -hmm. it was a lovely sense of people really, really enjoying themselves. And they, a lot of them said, there, you know, it, there's not a lot of places like that for, where people can go be creative, just chill, do as much or as little work as possible, get fed and have a laugh. And great. of all the studios that we have around, yours has to be very special. Um, and I'm thinking about when you say getting fed, you got to tell people about your cooking skills. Hmm? You got to tell people about your cooking skills. Oh, well, you know, I mean, you know, I, 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 I love cooking, so it's not that I, that, 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 that I weren't minded. I mean, you know, I really, I'm, I'm quite proud of what I do cook-wise. You know, I think I'm a good cook. I don't really want to elaborate on that, but, you know, really, you know, if you have guests, uh, you know, and, and you include their food, you know, I, I, I just thought that there's no point in not having very, very good food for them. Let them really enjoy it and relax. Good breakfast, good lunch. You know, I even, I, even sometimes when they'd come back from the pub, you see, I, when I'd pick them up, I'd have a little snack for them, you know, rather than go to the chipper. And I used to give them <laughs> these kind of hot dogs and everything, you know. And they really, I mean, uh, most of them I've booked again for this year. They well, come you, back got, down to you me. got a lot of great feedback online, that's for sure. No, it was, uh, I really, really I did. think I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's it's not, uh, and, I, and I I wasn't doing per se for money. Okay, we we weren't making money at the time, but I mean, I did it because I really thought that it would help people, and I, and it really did, you know. And I I didn't get any bad reaction at all to to it. You know, everyone just thought it was great. Well, maybe at the end of the show, I could book in for this year. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> for yeah, a couple yeah, of yeah, evenings. Yeah, yeah. So you know what, John? What is next for you? Because I know that this year is a big year for you. Um, and also that you have an amazing show coming in September. Yay! Yeah, yeah I know. Well, I mean, that, that's part of what the lockdown did, you know, you know for me. It, it just it got me to focus on, on, on certain things. And I said, I'd love to, I'm, I'm, I'm be 50 years in the business, you know, we say come September. It's my birthday, actually, on the 2nd of September. So I said, I would love to put on a show there. And sometimes it's, it's, you know, it's difficult, Angel, when you've sang in bands and all different types of bands, because there's always a kind of a, there's a community kind of thing to get, get gigs together and do things. And you don't have to rely on yourself because there's other members in that, you know. But I just said, I just, I don't care how, you know, I just wanted to do something because I, I sang so many genres. I mean, the lads here will be on the show with me as well. And people from lots of bands, I'll, I'll do a few things on my own. But, uh, I want to commemorate it. I really, really do. And uh, I think some of my kids, my kids, all my kids will be there. I might sing a song with little Holly May because we did a few things over the, yes, uh, the lockdown. Was lovely, actually. That was really and, lovely. you know, and I just wanted to say to hell with it because I, 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 I wouldn't think of myself quite a lot. And I don't mean to be, you know, bragging about that. But I do try and help other people. And I just said, God, this is for me. I really want to do it. So I've put it together. It's on the 2nd of September. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to go through everything that I've done. I, I was on to one of my old guitar players there. We wrote a lot of songs together in Shush. He's going to join me. We're going to do a few acoustic versions of those things. And it would be quite nostalgic for people that, you know, that have come to see me over the last you know, 50 years, you know, and just to be, have a bit, a bit of blast. Well, you I know? definitely think after 50 years, you deserve a big, big celebration. That's for sure. <laughs> so, John, thank you so much for being here with us this evening. Listen, it was my pleasure. It's and as I said, I'm looking forward to the next 50 years after this, you know. <laughs> You're going to get a letter from the president. You do realise <laughs> that. <laughs> well, we'll see. Well, look, you know, it's been fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us here. It's been absolutely amazing. My you pleasure. The guys, incredible. Um, can pe where can people contact you? Listen, uh, you know, on Facebook, I mean, I, I, I've never gone into the, uh, into the, the website stuff. I, because I, I, I like to keep it low key for myself, you know yeah. what I mean? So just Facebook there, you know, or, uh, you know, you, you, you'll always see me on that. You'll get the email address, whatever. But if I really wanted to, to push myself massively, I would have websites all over the place. I don't, I'm quite happy doing what I do. I enjoy it. And I think if I, you know, get vastly busier, which I don't want to do, 
I, I wouldn't enjoy it then. So yes. I like to, I like to, every time I go out, I like to say, I have this gig this week or two gigs this week. I really am going to put my heart and soul into them and enjoy. It's having a happy balance between your career and family. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's most really, important. Really important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I have to say, we're very honoured to have you here this evening. Angel, it was my pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for having me. And work your magic <laughs> with the, the, the Thank guys. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> That's great. Good to see you all. So here we are, guys. John is going to have Mark join him on sax now. Um, and our, obviously Chris Canavy on, on, key, on keyboards or piano this evening. <laughs> Moon River Wider than a mile I'm crossing you in style Someday Oh dream maker You heartbreaker Wherever you're going I'm going Off to see the world There's such a lot of world to see We're after the same rainbows in Waiting round the bend My huckleberry friend beautiful tune. We're going to pick it up just a little bit this time. It's a song that we sometimes do at the end of the evening when everyone has a few scoops on them and they're dancing away and they like to kick their legs up in the air. So New York, New York, why not? We're pulling out all the American classics here. I hope you enjoy these at home. Thank you. Start spreading the news I'm leaving today I wanna be a part of it New York, New York These vagabond shoes All longing to stray Right through the very heart of it New York, New York I want to wake up In a city that never sleeps And find I'm king of the air The top of the heap But these little town blues Are melting away 
I'll make a brand new start of it in old New York. And if I can't make it there, I'm gonna make it anywhere. It's up to you, New York, New York. New York, New York I want to wake up in a city that never sleeps And find I'm A number one, the top of the list King of the hill, A number one These little towns I'm gonna make a brand new start of it in old New York. And if I can't make it there, I'm gonna make it anywhere. It's up to you, New York, New York. So good they named it twice. I'm going to sing a song this time, uh, sang by the uh, very, very smooth voiced Perry Como. It's a, a, an old classic. And not only do I pick songs, but I, take, I pick entertainers as well and singers. This, is, was, this man was a fantastic singer, a beautiful, smooth, velvet voice, a song called It's Impossible. We hope you love this. Thank you. <laughs> Tell the sun to leave the sky It's just impossible It's impossible Ask a baby not to cry It's just impossible Can I hold you Closer to me And not feel you Going through me, split the second. How I never think of you, oh, how impossible. Can the ocean keep from rushing to the shore? It's just impossible. If I had you. Could I ever want for more? It's just impossible. And tomorrow, should you ask me for the world somehow, I'd get it. I would sell my very soul and not regret it. For to live without your love would be impossible. Impossible 
If I had you, could I ever want for more? It's just impossible. And tomorrow, if you asked me for the world, somehow I'd get it. I would sell my very soul and not regret it. For to live without your love would be impossible. Impossible, impossible. It's impossible. Nothing is impossible. And uh, we've come to our last number. I'd like to thank Mark here beside me on saxophone and Chris on piano for joining me this evening and Angel and all the crew out there. It's been a fantastic experience. We're going to finish off with one of Mike's favourite songs. It's uh, back to a little bit of Frank Sinatra, a song called My Way. Hope you enjoyed this and God bless you. Take care in the future, okay? We hope to see you soon. And now the end is near And so I face that final curtain My friends, I'll say it clear I'll stake my case of which I'm certain I've lived a life that's full I've traveled each and every highway and more much more than this I did it my way Regrets I've had a few But then again Too few to mention I did What I had to do And saw it through Without exemption I've planned Each charted course Each careful step Along the byway And more Much more than this I did it my way Yes, there were times I'm sure you knew When I bit off More than I could chew But through it all And there was doubt I ate it up And spit it out I gave it all And I stood tall And did it my I've lived, I've laughed and cried I've had my share, my share of losing And now, as tears survive I find it all so amusing To think I did all that And may I say in a shy way Oh no Oh no, not me I did it my way For what is a man What has it got If not himself Then he is not To say the thing Not the words of what who kneels The record shows I took the blows And did it my way
Yes, it was my way. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what an absolute treat here this evening. Absolute amazing performance from John and the boys. Thank you so much, John. Thank you so much, Mark. Chris, thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure having you here this evening. We are honored, thank you. So, there we are. The show is over for another week. We've had a fantastic time. Um, I've had a fantastic time, should I say. <laughs> I can't believe I was here this evening to uh, stand in for Stephen. Thank you so much for asking me. Um, Stephen will be back next week. Um, he'll be back in, in full swing. Uh, but I've been really happy to be here with the, the team, the team even, the team this evening. So thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you all again soon. Um, tune in next week, same place, same time. And I'm going to end tonight on John Graham's saying. His favorite saying is, onwards. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>